Hello everyone, welcome all to this new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about two named dihydroxylation reactions, which are Prevost dihydroxylation reaction and Woodward dihydroxylation reaction. Firstly, we are going to take Prevost dihydroxylation reaction. What is Prevost dihydroxylation reaction? In Prevost dihydroxylation reaction, it is takes place under anhydrous condition. First, you remember, it is in anhydrous condition, that is in the absence of water. Secondly, in Prevost dihydroxylation reaction, alkenes on reaction with a iodine in CCl4. Okay, first iodine in CCl4 and equimolar amount of silver acetate, CH3COOAG. This is silver acetate and this on reaction that first gives, this gives first a diacetyl derivative of, diacetyl derivative of transglycols, okay, transglycols, which on saponification, saponification gives transdiol, transdiols, okay. This is Prevost dihydroxylation reaction. That means under anhydrous condition, alkenes on reaction with a iodine in CCl4, an equimolar amount of silver acetate, it gives firstly a diacetyl derivative of transglycols, which on saponification gives transdiols. Okay. In Prevost dihydroxylation reaction, we get transdiols as the product. Next, we are going to check the mechanism of Prevost dihydroxylation reaction. The mechanism of Prevost dihydroxylation is, in the first step, an alkene, this is an alkene, is on reaction with the iodine, I, iodine, I2, and silver acetate, CH3CO, Ag, that is O minus NAG plus, in the first step, using this pi electron, it attacks on this iodine, and this iodine goes with a silver, okay, and forms, and forms this product, this is the product formed, and here is iodine, it's a positive charge on this iodine, and this is called an iodonium ion, iodonium ion. Okay, to this iodonium ion, there is an attack of CH3CO, CH3, CH3CO minus, that is an acetate ion. It attacks through backside, through SN2 manner. This is in SN2 manner. That means the attack from the backside, it forms an iodoacetate. The iodoacetate will be like this. Here is iodine. That means this bond cleaves and this bond goes to the iodine so this iodine is here and here is o c o c h3 that is this acetate group attached to here okay is a backward attack that is why it is in wedge and it is in dash in the next tube there is there is an oxygen atom through this oxygen atom the lone pair of this oxygen atom there is a neighboring group participation or angomeric assistance to this iodoacetate. This is known as iodoacetate. It's an iodoacetate. To this iodoacetate, there is a neighboring group participation like the, through this oxygen, this, the lone pair of this oxygen attacks through this lone pair of the oxygen attacks on this carbon through backside that is in uh, like SN2 and this iodine atom leaves from the uh, molecule. So the product formed will be like this here is o okay and here is c ch3 is here and here is an oxygen this oxygen is attached to this carbon through this is a backside attack so through wedge o and bond be like this there is a double bond and there is a positive charge on this oxygen because the lone pair of oxygen is used here so this is a positive charge in the next step an acetate ion ch3 co coo minus an acetate ion attacks to this carbon through backside or by sn2 sn2 manner 
through backside attack takes place and this bond cleaves it goes to this oxygen and forms this product this is the product formed there here is O here is C double bond O CH3 say acetate group here is uh, there is an acetate group attached to here through uh, this is in wedge this is in dash and this is in wedge because this is attack is through backside so this becomes in dash okay and this is a two acetate group attached to here this on saponification this on saponification gives a diole the form said diole which is in OH and here is OH say transdiol transdiol in reverse dihydroxylation the product will be a transdiol the mechanism of this reaction is like this first this is a, a, the, the iodine, this uh, alkene attacks to this iodine in CCL4 and in silver uh, acetate it gives an iodonium ion this to this iodonium ion is an acetate ion attacks through backside like this and forms an iodoacetate in iodoacetate there is there occurs the neighboring group participation and forms this compound this is an oxonium ion say this name of this compound is an oxo this is an oxonium ion okay this is an oxonium ion through this oxonium ion the one of the acetate ion attacks through the backside and forms this one this one saponification gives a transdiol this is the mechanism of reverse dihydroxylation reaction next woodward modification of reverse dihydroxylation reaction we know that the reverse dihydroxylation reaction occurs in absence of water that is in an hydrous condition but woodward a dihydroxylation occurs in presence of water okay here the product formed is cis diols in reverse dihydroxylation we get the product as trans diols but in uh, woodward dihydroxylation the product is in cis diol we are going to check the mechanism of woodward dihydroxylation reaction firstly in like reverse dihydroxylation reaction an alkene Okay, first on reaction with the iodine I2. Similarly, it gives CH3O, COCH3, that is plus minus in the first step, it attacks like this and it goes with that and forms first in an iodonium ion. Okay, it like prevost dihydroxylation and iodonium ion I plus. Okay, this is an I plus. Okay, iodonium ion forms iodonium ion. This is in first step. In the next step, the CH3COO minus, CH3COO minus, the acetate ion attack from backside on this carbon. This bond cleaves like this, and the product formed will be uh, this is OCOCH3, and here I. Okay, it's an iodoacetate. Iodo acetate and here through neighboring group participation through neighboring group participation there is an attack like this in this iodine leaves and forms the product Sena. the product forms here this is O and this is a backward attack so this is O and C CH3 here is double bond O, this is a positive charge, therefore it's an oxonium ion, it's an oxonium ion forms. So oxonium ion is formed, this, to this oxonium ion, in Woodward dihydroxylation reaction, there is, there is present water, this water attacks to this carbon, okay, this water, one of the water molecules attacks to this carbon atom. At the same time this bond cleaves uh, this bond shift like this and a product formed which is like this one that is here is oxygen here is also oxygen here is a single bond comes single bond and here is o h h and positive charge so water adds to this carbon and here is a ch3 
and similarly in, in this step one of the H plus leaves from here and this bone shift like this and forms and forms this one that is O O C O H C H 3 and this one okay here forms this compound and this compound on reaction with the CH3 COOAG plus minus it forms OAC that is acetate ion OAC which on saponification which on saponification gives a product which is like this OH OH okay this is a cis diol okay this is a cis diol in woodward dihydroxylation reaction cis diol is the product and in previous dihydroxylation reaction uh, trans diol is the product this is the difference between the woodward and previous dihydroxylation reaction the main difference is in woodward dihydroxylation reaction is in hydrous condition or the presence of water is in woodward dihydroxylation reaction but in previous dihydroxylation reaction the what the, this is uh, that takes place in unhydrous condition or in the absence of water next we are going to check some examples of this woodward and uh, previous dihydroxylation reactions first example we are going to consider which is c double bond c H H CH2 7 times CH3 here is CH2 7 times COH this is oleic acid this oleic acid on dihydroxylation in different condition okay first we are taking prevost conditions okay uh, this is prevost condition okay that is in the absence of water and iodine and CH3 COOH silver acetate in anhydrous condition the product formed will be like this C C here is OH here is OH and H H here forms this one CH3 CH2 7 times and CH2 7 times COOH this is 3 O 9 10 dihydroxy stearic acid stearic acid this is a under previous condition this is a anti dihydroxylation is a anti dihydroxylation next next this one on reaction with the uh, under woodward condition woodward condition that is i2 ch3 coag in presence of water the product formed will be this one here is h here is OH, here is H, here is H and CH2 7 times CH3, here CH2 7 times COOH. This is erythro 9, 10 dihydroxy stearic acid. Stearic acid. And here syn dihydroxylation takes place okay syn dihydroxylation takes place under woodward conditions in previous condition anti dihydroxylation takes place these are the two products formed from oleic acid another example this is the compound This is the compound and CH3, CH3. This is on reaction with the iodine, CH3, COOAG, silver acetate. 
in anhydrous condition that is in prevost condition in prevost condition the product formed will be here here is the double bonds and the product formed with here is CH3 here is CH3 and here this double bond undergo dihydroxylation reaction under prevost condition arch and arch that is an anti dihydroxylation takes place and one uh, diol is formed which is trans to each other under prevost condition so this is all about the two named dihydroxylation reaction that is prevost and woodward dihydroxylation reaction its mechanism and its stereochemical aspects and examples thank you